Everything was optimized with touch and mind, so it's very responsive, very fast and fluid. Uh, rather than, so I can scroll over here, look at some of my shortcuts. Rather than just have uh, shortcuts to applications, they're actually live tiles with the content being fed to them real time. Connected to Wi Fi right now. I can open up, check out the weather in Anaheim. To go back to the home environment, I can just pull this little software shortcut, hit the start button. <laughs> Maybe I want to check out my stocks, uh, check out some new related news stories related to those stocks. Again, to go back home. Well, you might be wondering, well, yeah, but I've got a Windows 7 based PC today, and I've got a lot of software on it. What if I want to run some of that software? Well, the beauty of Windows 8 on Intel architecture is you have full backward compatibility for all those applications written for the Win32 architecture. The access shows you would just click the desktop tile, and now this starts to look very familiar, right? It looks a lot like a Windows 7 PC. Um, I can, you know, I, I still have touch enabled, right? I have a touch keyboard, um, uh, or I could use a Bluetooth attached keyboard as well. Now, this is probably my favorite part. Is, let's say I want to do both. I want the best of the old and new. I want to be able to use today's PC environment, but I also want to bring in a Metro UI app as well. I can just slide in from the side that stock application that I was just using. Using. Keep working on maybe a spreadsheet or something here and scroll through my stock information and look at the real time. I can dynamically resize this. I can even take it to full screen if I'd like. Now, the cool thing is because it's a full PCOS, it has two multitasking capabilities. So while I've been blabbing up here, opening up applications, those applications are all still open in the background. To access those, I can just slide them in from the side and I can quickly toggle through anything that I've been working on. So that's it. This is a Windows 8 developer build of a Core i5 CPU. It's a special engagement between us and Samsung and Microsoft. Um, we're also demoing for the first time publicly. This is our, I know she commented on the thinness. It is pretty thin for our Core CPU. Our atom based products are going to be even thinner. Sub 9 millimeters thick, weighing less than a pound and a half. Uh, all day battery life, when you're using it all day long, reach a standby battery life. And you'll get the true connected standby functionality where you push one button and your system is on within a second.